morning, everybody. Or good afternoon, early afternoon, I guess it is. I'm going to be doing your weeklies. So I'm going to start off with air signs today. And I'm going to be using the Gilded Tarot deck, the Imperial deck, which I really love. So what I usually do is I start off with three collective signs from the um, Wisdom Oracle deck. Three cards for all three of the signs, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. And then I break down the beginning, the middle, and the end of the week for each of the signs individually. Okay? So I'm going to put the camera down so you can see me shuffling. Hope you all are well. If you're coming on for the first time, I hope you subscribe below and hit the notification button. I'll be on a lot this week with live readings as the veil is very thin between the worlds, right, um, you know, between heaven and, and earth right before Halloween. Um, yesterday I was on for three and a half hours, um, and hopefully I'll be able to continue to make it free. I know yesterday, um, you know, by donations, people, a couple of people donated, but um, it was a lot of time, three and a half hours, so I may either cut it shorter and put a time limit on it um i have to figure out how i'm going to handle that so let's pull um let me just do a couple of shuffles uh, from the wisdom tarot i mean the wisdom oracle deck let's see what i can see what we can come up with here still a lot of chaos out there still in mars retrograde we've passed into the sign of scorpio and of course that's mystery and hidden truths coming out things like that so i don't know if the last nine days of this election is going to bring any of that about but if it does don't be surprised okay because we will be in scorpio uh the sign of scorpio over the election day okay so the three cards you got is one is go the distance beautiful jaguar here absolutely gorgeous um and he's just about hitting the finish line. So for air signs, I feel like this week, uh, the week of October 25th to October 31st, is really going to be a week about a completion for you. If you add up the four and the seven for the number of the card, that's an 11. That's a master number. So it's really, it's a, it's a, going to be a magical week for air signs. Um, coming to the completion of something, coming to the completion maybe of a job you've been working really hard on, coming to the completion of making decisions about a relationship. There's a lot of different things you could be coming to completion about, but as a collective, I feel like I feel very positive because of the number pattern, okay? I have Treasure Island, and, and this just makes it even more positive, okay? Um, look at the money that's coming on this uh, from this treasure chest. So you've worked really hard. You're just about ready to cross the finish line with all the hard work you've done, air signs. And look, look at the money that's waiting for you. Look at the abundance that's waiting for you. Many of you will be getting promotions this week. I actually even feel a few of you will hear about um, some infertility issues that you'll finally um, be able to, that either you find out that you are pregnant or that you're able to conceive. I feel really positive in that area. And the milk and honey card really goes along with that. Um, it's it's got the rainbow it's it's a beautiful card and it really is um accepting what's in front of you don't go with the chaos the milk and honey is like don't don't follow the lead of everybody else stay in that really high vibration okay and when i say stay in that high vibration it means being kind being compassionate being loving right that's the high vibration that we want to bring in we don't want to be down there uh, you know where kind of the election people are at this point i hate to say where it's um, really about um, competition or being against each other or saying nasty words and because that's all low vibration. So be the person that exudes that high energy and that high vibration this week. Okay, air signs? And I already shuffled these. I'm going to start with Aquarius. And I'll start with a card for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday this week, um, October 25th to the 31st. Um, and then I will go to the middle of the week which is Wednesday and Thursday, and the end of the week, which is Friday and Saturday, okay? Okay, great. Okay, yeah, more money. I mean, this this really looks like an amazing week for you. So the Ten of Pentacles, I mean, the the getting to the top of the pinnacle, look, two treasure chests in one reading. Um, it's pretty amazing 
uh, Libra. So either you've worked really hard and earned this money really hard. Um, I could, I see some of you could be getting it as an inheritance, but I think most of you it's very hard earned money. Um, maybe the chance for you to get a promotion, maybe the chance for you to move up higher and be making more money, or maybe even getting a new job and making more money. But the other pen, uh, that on um, Sunday money Tuesday, it's it's all about coming into work and finding out really good things are are happening, right? You've you've gone the distance, you've worked really hard, you see the finish line. Um, you've got Treasure Island and you've got the money card. And the temperance is, although you've got the money card, you might have to just wait and be patient a little bit for it to come in. So maybe this is just log the logistics at work or logistics if somebody has passed and there's inheritance coming in. You know it's coming in, but there's some things that have to happen before the money actually comes to you, okay? So temperance on Wednesday and Thursday is, is learning or figuring out that you really just need to um, be patient, take your time. Um, know that there's no hurry. It's all divine timing, right? Everything that comes from the universe is divine timing. So although you may be in a hurry to get this um, money, I, I feel like it will come. Just be patient, okay? And and then we get another pentacle, which is really nice, the three of pentacles. This is building, but this is building on this money, okay? So on Friday and Saturday, you're at the beginning of the week, you see all this money that's coming to you. On Friday and Saturday, maybe you're starting over again on something else, a new project that's going to make you more money. Or maybe this is continuing. Sometimes it's abundance and love, health, wealth, destiny. So maybe this is um, hearing good news that somebody's feeling better or, or doing hearing that your relationship is, is in a really good place. That's Friday and Saturday. Um, so it, it's a very monetary filled week for you, Aquarius. I feel um, if you're patient and just wait for the money um, and, and patient and know that it is coming, it's a, a boatload of it is coming. Okay, so um, it's a really nice week ahead. Um, try to stay in your own lane. Try to stay in the high vibration and not allow others to drag you out of that high vibration. And the week looks great, Aquarius. So congratulations. That's awesome. I will do, um, I'm going to do Libra next, but I will do um, clarifiers if I have any um, cards that I'm unsure about or if I question. Okay, that was pretty clear and pretty evident that that reading for Aquarius is all about money. So I didn't feel the need to, but I will do that um, for Libra, okay, or for Gemini or any other sign. Okay, Libra, let's see what Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday. Okay, great. So Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is, I mean, he's in movement, right? It looks like he's, he's walking, he's getting to move. But the clothes he's wearing on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday tell me that, yes, he's built his kingdom, or yes, he's built his... Um, his riches at work, etc., um, because we still have the Treasure Island for the Collective for all, all of the air signs this week, right? So, but he's taking his time getting there. He's not running. He's not in a hurry. He's also wearing reds, and reds are all about root chakra. Reds are all about what um, what is coming or what you have built upon from the past into the future. Okay, so for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, this could be you really uh, paying attention to what it is you want to build and where you want to get by later in the week or later in the month or wherever you're, whatever goal you're trying to reach, because this is a really good um, beginning place for that. Okay, the second card I have is the Two of Pentacles, which is making a decision. Now, the Pentacles are all about money. So, again, we have the Treasure Island card that came up for the community or for the collective. But the Two of Pentacles, you see the rainbow between it. It's like you can't make a wrong decision, okay? Your ship is coming in. You can see the ship in the background. And the waters are a little bit rough around, right around the bottom of your feet. And sometimes when the waters are a little bit rough, it could be just something that you're disagreeing with or not going along with the plan and want to um, make a decision between two plans that you have already figured out. And that's what I feel like this is coming down to. Um, but I do feel like this is a decision card, being that it's a two and it's showing the two, two pentacles, um, a decision about which direction to go in for money, which direction to go in for good health, wealth, destiny, um, a love relationship, maybe you're changing, making a new direction with your, um, with a relationship, but it is making a choice, okay, and that's Wednesday and Thursday. The final card we get is the Queen of Pentacles. Again, more pentacles. Um, you guys are all, air signs seem to be surrounded by money, which is beautiful. Now, you look at her face. She's really, 
she's got the the peacock with the green tail she's all dressed in her green robe um and she's holding this pentacle like she knows she's got it made she knows she has this money in her hands this is friday and saturday so it may be that you're spending a lot this coming weekend it may be that you decide to um you know maybe you've been needing a car and you finally have enough for the down payment maybe you've been looking at a house and you may finally make a decision um either way it's it's all positive it's all going to flow perfectly for you and it's all surrounding the money that you have and that you have more than enough money to meet your needs and that you don't need to worry okay and that's that's such a big point um is that you don't need to worry this week about finances at all okay so libra those are really nice cards boy you guys air signs are i'm coming to your house you're you're loaded with money this week I'm going to shuffle these for Gemini. Gemini, remember, Mercury is in retrograde. Mercury is your ruling planet. So if you're having trouble with um, communication or um, if things, words are coming out wrong that don't make, um, that somebody's not understanding you, uh, or you say the words and it's, it's misinterpreted, which often happens, uh, please know that hopefully somebody will be understanding and will allow you to correct it. Um, if you stay in that high vibration, because the kindness and the love and, and the compassion that you want to exude is all about staying in that higher, um, that higher place, right? So let's see where things stand for you, Gemini. Okay, so for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, so for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we have the Queen of Wands. Um, look at her face. It's as if she's, this is a fire energy. This is really strong. So you could be dealing with a fire energy in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It could also be that you're, um, you're cloaked in red and with all the purples around you, the healing energies, that this is your time to really kind of go inward and take and, and feel your power, feel your strength as the queen of wands. Know that you have everything going in your direction. You're just about at the pinnacle, just about at the king of wands. But with this healing energy, maybe it's time to take a step back maybe there's somebody that needs some healing on Sunday Monday Tuesday maybe somebody that needs your compassion or your listening ear but either way um, Sunday Monday Tuesday looks really nice having the Queen Wednesday and Thursday this is the truth card okay this is the the um, ace of swords it's all about truth it's all about maybe hearing a message um, about truth that you hadn't expected it could be maybe you're finally telling the truth about something that you've been holding on to and and not sharing with anybody but it is the definitely on Wednesday Thursday a chance for you to um, to tell the truth I'm gonna draw a clarifier on that with the Rider Waite deck only because I'm not sure if it's relationship wise or if it's has to do with um, work so I'm gonna draw um, a card and see which it is for me okay Let's see if it's relationship or work related. Okay. Okay, so it is work related. You have more swords here. You have the the um the seven of swords. And look at the way he's carrying them, right? He's got two swords in the ground still. He's looking back at them like whether or not he should leave them. But he's carrying these swords way down at the bottom, right? The pointy part, the part that hurts. So this is something you can avoid. Once you know the truth, if it has to do with something at work, you can avoid the pain of it by just knowing the truth is coming, okay? And making a decision on how you're going to handle the truth. Remember, keep it in, in your own lane. Keep it with high level um, compassion and love and understanding. And this won't hurt you, okay? Um, because the tr you have the truth on your side. But more swords means more truth. So you are going to have to face this truth on Wednesday or Thursday. Um, it is coming your way. Finally, the card, the um, Nine of Wands on Friday and Saturday. So you've built your empire. Look at all the wands that he's planted behind him, and he's finally doing the, the final one. He's getting to the end. So you've worked very hard all week at work. Finally, on Saturday and Sunday, you're going to get to, I mean, on Friday and Saturday, you're going to get to relax. This is the fruits of your label, the labor. This is seeing that everything has wor is working in your favor, right? So maybe the truth that came out was something to do with um, at work, some kind of a job that you were working on. Um, and the truth came out that you were in charge of it or that um, you're the one that's going to be getting a promotion. Or maybe it turns out that 
um, somebody else is going to get the promotion, but you move in a different direction. You know, maybe you make a choice to move in a different direction. Because don't forget, you have the fire energy and standing in your own power behind you on Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So know that you're building, know that you're coming to completion, know that uh, Friday and Saturday are going to be really nice uh, days for you to kind of step back and, to, and look at uh, everything you've built. Look at the fruits of your labor. Look at what you've accomplished. Um, and and how are you gonna how are you now gonna move forward? Are you gonna start something new on Monday? Are you leaving? Are you going to a new job? Um, whatever it means, this is a positive card. Okay. So I hope you have a great week. It sounds as if you will, Gemini, which is great. The collective, we're leaving those cards out because it's a collective for. Everybody and um, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful week, October 25th to the 31st. I hope you enjoy Halloween because I'll putting these, be putting these out on November 1st, right before the election next time, next week. So enjoy the week, and um, your cards look amazing. A lot of money, a lot of choices, but a lot of really good decisions, okay? So hang in there and enjoy the week. Have a great one.